Hey there, YouTube fans. This is Richard Ross from AccessLearningZone.com. Just want to let you guys know that I just released my next developer class. It's Access Developer 39. Yes, there's been 39 of them already. This class actually started off as a tech help video. One of my members wanted to see how to make a document index where we can take different documents like PDF files and Word documents and text files, load that text into our Access database, and then be able to search on the keywords in that document. So that's what the free tech help video covers. You can watch that. It's on my YouTube channel. It's on my website. It's absolutely free. Then in the extended cut for the members, I show you how to browse and pick a file instead of having to type the file name in. And then we automatically load the text of the document using Microsoft Word automation and a couple of lines of VB code. And we pull that text, whether it's a PDF file or a Word document or a text file, we pull that text automatically into our database so we can index it. But then I didn't stop with the extended cut. I had two hours of additional video that I put into Access Developer 39. It includes a lot more with Microsoft Word automation, having Word open up a file and convert that information into a text file. We'll see how to create our own index table where we can index the individual words inside of a text field. And that way we don't have to store all of the text from each document in our database, just the keywords. We'll do more with record sets and, and lots of additional information in this class. In fact, following this is going to be the introductory video from Developer 39, so you can learn more about what's covered in it. And if you want to learn more, visit my website. I'll put a link down below in the description you can click on, and uh, we'll see you there. And if you have any questions, post them down below in the comments section. Thanks. Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 39, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to focus on building a searchable document index. That's where we can take different documents and load the text of those documents into our database so we can search on the keywords. So if you want to say which customers have documents that have the word elephant in them, then it's a very easy search to do. We're going to learn how to use Microsoft Word automation. So in VBA, we'll be able to click a button. We'll have Microsoft Word open up in the background, and it'll read in the file, whether it's a PDF, a text file, a Word document, any document type that Word supports, you can do this with. We'll take that document, save it as text, then we'll pull the text into our Access database and index all the keywords. We'll build an exception table, of course, so we don't have to bother indexing words like the or in or at, okay? Then we'll work with record sets some more. I know you guys love record sets. I spent a lot of time on record sets in earlier lessons. We'll learn how to find records while a record set is open, and we'll learn about the no match property. This lesson follows Access Developer 38 and everything that comes before it. I strongly recommend you've completed my beginner, expert, advanced, and developer series before continuing with this lesson. My lessons are meant to be taken one after the other. Each one builds on the one that came before it. Look at this page. If you don't believe me, read that. <laughs> I will be using Microsoft Access 365. It is currently July of 2022, so it's roughly equivalent to Microsoft Access 2021. However, the lessons covered in this course should be applicable going back to, I'm going to say, Access 2007. So if you're using something earlier than that, forget it, 2007 and on. All of that should work just fine with what we're covering today. If you've got questions about the stuff covered in today's class, scroll down to the bottom of the page that you're watching this on and post a comment right there on the lesson page. And if you've got other questions that don't necessarily pertain to the topics covered today, but you've got other Access questions or Excel or Word post them in the forums on my website. Okay, let's take a few minutes and cover exactly what we're going to do in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to begin building a document index, a searchable document index. We're going to create the table to hold this information. We're going to use follow hyperlink to open files. We've done that before, that's nothing new. We're going to then copy and paste the document text into the index table and create a search box so that we can search for documents that have any particular keywords in them. Then we'll assign each document to customers so you can go to the customer's record and open up any documents related to that customer. 
In lesson two, we're continuing on with our document index. We're going to make a button to browse and pick a file. We will automatically load that document into Microsoft Word in the background using some VBA and some Word automation. Then we will be able to convert any PDF file, Word document file, text file into plain text that we can pull into our Access database. That's all covered in lesson two. In lesson three, we're continuing with the document index. We're going to learn some reasons why you'd want to build your own index. There's a bunch of reasons why we'll cover them in this lesson. There are a lot of limitations with long text fields. One of them is you can't edit a long text field of more than 64K, 64,000 characters roughly. Okay, we're going to learn how to use file input output from Access Developer 30 to import text files directly. We'll open up Word, we'll save the Word doc or the PDF as a text file, then we'll use file IO to read that in instead of copying and pasting it. All right, all that's covered in lesson three. In lesson four, we're continuing on with the document index. We're gonna actually build the index tables that hold the data for all the keywords. The index table has the list of keywords in it just once. Then we'll build a junction table to track which keywords are in which documents. We'll use a composite key to prevent duplicates. We'll write an add to index subroutine, filter out unnecessary characters, lots, lots more. In lesson five, we're going to set up our document index queue and our document index subform, this little guy right here. So you can click on a document and see whatever words are in that document down below. We'll set up our exception table, which is a list of words you don't care to index. You know, that, them, there, they, about, it's, 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 that kind of stuff. And then we'll make sure that the search now works taking the index table into consideration, which means we have to change the record source when we go between not searching or showing all the documents. It's a little tricky. A lot of good query stuff in this lesson, and we're going to cover that all in lesson five. Here we go. Finally, in lesson six, we're going to finish up this document index. We're going to display the percent completed right there. Okay, so you're going to see 73% completed while this index is building, which is great for if you get longer documents and they take a while, like this big one that we did down here, right? It could take a few minutes to, to compile. And that's what we're going to spend some time at the end of the lesson. We're going to optimize this. We're going to try and replace some of this SQL we've been writing with record sets. Okay, uh, we're going to use find first and no match, which is there's a new record set stuff, folks. New record set stuff. I know you guys love record sets. All right, we're going to have to open DB open Dynaset, which I forgot about when I was writing the code the first time. And then I oop, got an error message, got to fix it. You, I know you guys love my error messages too. We're going to add a word count. That's one of the, another reason for adding the record set loop here. So you can see, okay, this, you know, the word computer was in here in this document nine times. The word people was in it seven times. Okay, and we'll do, do a lot more record set coding. So this will conclude our document index, but this lesson's got a lot of cool stuff in it. So, and some new material. All right, here we go.